All right, so this next video I'm going to show you shortly after engine startup and communications is the uh, lighting. And along with the lightings, I will show you the flare feature. So if you come here and take a look at your top center console, all your little lighting buttons are here. I saved for one. And with these rotary switches, if you increase them all to the top, it'll turn your brightness up for most of your lighting. Go ahead and turn that down a little bit just because it's daytime. Then you have your pit heater, which is your tubes to the front of the helo. And then you want to turn your heater on if you get pretty cold outside. Right now it's fine, so we don't need to worry about that. This is your dome light. It'll turn your interior either uh, a white light or green, which looks nice. And we'll go ahead and turn that off because it's day. And then we have our position lights here, uh, dim and bright. We can do flash, which you'll see these here flashing. Or you can switch it to steady, and you'll see them stay on. And then you have your anti-collision light, which is the top light there. And then there are your wipers and your wiper selector switch. Um, you usually don't need to worry about your wipers. So now that that's all set up and good to go, we'll come down here to the flares, which is ridiculously simple to use. All you do is you switch to arm, and you're good, and you switch how many you want to use. So let's do two. Every time you click that, it'll dispense a pair. So we've increased it to 30. Let's see what that does. Nothing, because I don't have flare launchers on the back of my helicopter. But if you did, that's how it would be done. And then this right here is if you flick that, all of them will fire, or however many you set it to fire. And that is it for this tutorial. Um, thank you for watching.